So I've been sitting here for the last like hour looking at this record button. This is probably one of the hardest things that I've ever done, but I just, I don't know what to do anymore. So, um, a lot of you know me, a lot of you don't know me, a lot of you don't know everything about me. So I guess I'm just going to start at the beginning. So, I don't even know where to start. Um, didn't really have a bad childhood growing up. Typical childhood. Um, kind of a rebel child. Didn't really get in trouble, but didn't really get along with my stepmom. Didn't get along with my dad all that great. Um, we were pretty poor growing up. And then things got a lot better once I hit about fifth or sixth grade. But I decided in high school that I wanted to join the military. I wanted to go serve and everything after 9-11 and all that. So 2004, October 2004. So um, like 12 years ago, such a long time ago, I decided to sign up and um, went combat arms. I was a 19 Delta Cavalry Scout. Decided that I was going to go, you know, take care of some of those bad guys. Make the world a safer place. Um, went in when I was like 19. You know, finished basic training 2005. Um, went to air assault school. Ended up getting hurt in a training accident. Fell out of a helicopter. You know, fucked me up kind of good, but I wasn't going to give up, so I didn't. Um... Ended up deploying eight months, six months, something like that. After I got out of basic training, went over to Iraq for a year, 2005, 2006. Um, while I was over there, tour wasn't too bad. You know, dealt with typical shit, got shot at, you know, dealt with IEDs and everything. And then on April 29th, 2006, everything changed. So one of my... Close friends got killed by an IED right in front of me. And a uh, huge part of me died that day. So, um, backtrack a little bit. Before I went into the military, I was really social. Everybody knew me. Not everybody liked me. But I had friends. I had acquaintances. I always had somebody to talk to. I already had, always had somebody around. Um, my nickname was Freak Show. I dressed weird. Gothic. All the way up until Iraq. I mean, after basic training in the military, I didn't, you know, act like I was in the military. I always had my hair a little long. I always had it spiked, wore fishnets, wore whatever. Um, but that version of me died with my friend Steve Sakota on April 29th in Iraq. Um, that was the day that led to my PTSD. So, dealt with that, lost some other people over there that I didn't know quite as well, but I mean, it still affected me, it affects you, you know, especially since we still had a while left in our deployment, and every day seemed less and less like you were going home to your family, and more and more like you were just going to end up in that place forever. Um, when I got home, I broke mentally, I couldn't handle it, I was heavily medicated, I ended up getting on a non-deployable status and actually got removed from the military because of my PTSD. Um, right after the military, went back up to Washington. Eight months after getting out, I met my ex-wife, Ashley. Spent seven years with her and fucked it all up. And like looking back on it, I know it's not all my fault, but the majority of it was my fault. Um, she gave me an awesome kid who's my world and for a while that helped a lot with my PTSD but ended up moving to Colorado to try to fix our marriage and it didn't it didn't happen I I couldn't fix me 
enough to be good enough for them. And uh, so we got divorced um, June 24th of 2014. I, I regret everything that I did. I regret giving up my family. I regret not trying harder. Um, since then, haven't really made any friends. Been alone a lot. I don't know. It's just rough. There's other stuff in there. I'm not going to go into whatever. But uh, I don't know. I just want people to to understand what I go through. So that's a little backstory on how I got to where I am. Um, now I just kind of want to explain what I go through. Uh, most people know me. You know, I try to help people. I try to be a good guy. I try to laugh. I try to joke. I try to play. And most of the time, that's fake. It's a front. It's me acting like everything is okay. And it's not. Um, there's constantly battles going on in my head. I suffer from depression and anxiety and suicidal tendencies and everything else. And it sucks. Um... I don't really, I <clears throat> can try to explain it. Hopefully people can kind of understand where I'm coming from, but I don't know how to explain it. And I'm not saying everybody with PTSD is exactly like this, but this is what I go through. Um, basically growing up, you have your conscience. You have that little voice in your head that tells you what to do, tells you what not to do, you know, whatever. Whenever you have to make a decision, it's sitting there going, you know, devil and devil and angel, basically. Um, with my PTSD... The devil and angel are there, but the problem is, is the devil's there more and screaming more and louder and telling me nothing's going to be okay and telling me everything is wrong and telling me just the worst possible things. Imagine cyberbullying or bullying in general, but from your own brain and constantly going on in your head. And it's one of those things where I have better days than others but I don't really have good days anymore. You know, I put on this mask to make everybody think that I'm okay when really I'm just not. And it sucks. I'm pretty much alone all the time. And when I am around people, I try to be happy. But... I don't know. It's just rough. It's really rough. And my brain is just constantly beating me down. And it's a constant battle. And I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of fighting. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't really know. Anymore. But... I try, you know, I try to stay strong for my son. I try to stay strong for my family, but the problem is, is it's getting to the point where I'm, I'm staying strong for everybody else and not for myself. And I'm putting myself through hell on a daily basis to make other people happy. And it's getting exhausting. And the problem is, is most people don't reciprocate it. Most people don't care. You know, it, it's, it's just rough, but I just, I don't know. I, I want, I just want to get it out. I just want to help people understand me. And I mean, this video isn't going to do much because there's a lot more than this, but it's a start. Um, I'm open to questions no comments. I don't need any of the, the superficial bullshit. And I know that a lot of people don't, aren't going to do that on purpose. But the problem is, is if you're not actively in my life right now, and then you try to be actively in my life after this, you're doing it because of this. And as much as that sucks, and as much as that doesn't make you a bad person or anything, like it, it makes sense. It, it's not, it's not helpful. 
It's just not. So, um, I just don't know anymore. But I'm going to keep posting vlogs. I'm going to try to answer questions. I'm going to try to just get this shit out there so that people know, you know, because that's the problem is people don't even realize it's going on because people like me have been dealing with it for so long we get really good at hiding it. And the problem with hiding it is like putting a freaking band-aid on a bullet wound. Hiding it only works for so long. And I mean, it just eats away at you constantly. So, um, I think I'm going to end this video with this. I've been kind of rambling. Don't even know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but my brain, it, it it's not functioning right now. It's hard for me to put together logical thoughts because my brain is just telling me that there's no point anymore. And once it gets to that point, it's just screaming. I can't think straight. I can't function hardly at all. Like, it's just constantly screaming, just screaming. But if you have any questions, I'm more than willing to answer them. Um, I'm not shy. I don't care. I will tell you whatever you want to know. No comments. Definitely no harsh comments. I mean, I'll just delete them. I'm just going to ignore them. But I, I want people to be more aware. Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to try to do more vlogs. Hopefully more coherent than this one. But I just kind of wanted to do an origin story, I guess. Kind of tell you a little bit of my past and tell you a little bit of what I go through on a regular basis. So if you've watched all the way to the end of this 12 minute video, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll post more.